Take your mark. Well, as you can imagine, the Pro Series record is owned by Katie Ledecky, but what you might not know, the Pro Series record is also the world record, 15-20-48, set last May. Kirsten Mites swum this earlier this afternoon, and she was a 16-29-52. And we'll have to keep a close eye on that as we go through our 1500. We'll let you know where she stands as the event progresses. And that 16-29-52 definitely has a shot at capturing the, a podium place. And before we get too far down that road, let's take a look at who's leading in the water right now, and that's Madeline, Madeline Donahoe. The 17 year old in lane number three, like I already mentioned, fourth in that 800 free already this weekend. She was seventh in this event at Winter Nationals last year in Greensboro, North Carolina. Third turn, more the same. Madeline Donahoe still in the lead, 135-30 her split. Second place, only one-tenth of a second behind her. That's Hannah Moore, the NC State Wolfpack in lane number four. Moore, 16th in the 800 free at Nationals last year, fifth in this event. She was a bronze medal winner at the World University Games in 2017 in the 1500. And now she's taken over the lead here at the 200 meter mark. 200 meter mark. Kirsten Mites was at 210.84, which has her currently sitting in fourth place. About eight tenths of a second behind Claire Tuggle, who's got the Actually, that has her in fifth place. Claire Tuggle sitting in fourth place, 209.60, her split. Just like that, a sixth of the race complete, a tie for first place. Hannah Moore, Crystal Cobert, like I already mentioned, the Chilean national record holder in this event. Kobrick with some Olympic experience in her past, and by some, I mean tons. 2016, 2012, 2008, 2004. Some of you in the stands weren't even born when Crystal Kobrick started her Olympic career. She now owns the lead all by herself, 313.72. And Kirsten Mice from the prelims still sitting solidly in fifth place, just ahead of Olivia McMurray. After 300 meters, a fifth of the way through this 1500 freestyle already. Still a great race here, right in the lead, 350 meters, eight one hundredths of a second separating Moore and Cobra. Donahoe in lane three, only eight tenths of a second off of that lead. Kobrick still in the lead, three tenths of a second between her and Hannah Moore. Moore with six tenths of a second over Madeline Donahoe. Almost a full second between Donahoe and Kobrick. That 400 meter mark, 419 21, the split. 423 28 was Kirsten Mites' split at the 400 meter mark, and that moves her up into fourth place comparatively to this heat. 
Donahoe and Moore continuing to hang on as we approach one third of the race complete. One, two, three, as it's been for a few 50s now. Cobrick, Moore, Donahoe. McMurray and Tuggle with a great battle right now for fourth place in the heat. Mites was 5.29.19 at that point, which has her just under four seconds off of Madeline Donahoe's third place spot at the 500 meter mark. Eight tenths of a second between McMurray and Tuggle in that fourth place battle in lanes six and seven. Daniela Vandenberg, the Aruban national record holder. This is 6.15.97 split. 600 meters down. Another 900 meters still to go. 629-69 for Cobra in lane five. Cobra splitting about 32-4, 32-3s. It's only been as high as 32-7 as we've been going through 600 meters. This is when the pace really begins to burn. Cobra concedes a little bit, 32.74, only a tenth of a second lead. Madeline Donahoe seemingly falling off the pace just a hair, 704.46. 700 meter mark means that we've only got one more length of the pool to go before we hit that halfway mark, and nobody's given in yet. Crystal Kobrick, Hannah Moore, Madeline Donahoe, all still right together. Olivia McMurray, 744.03. That means Kirsten Mites sitting in fourth place right now. Here is the 750 meter mark, and that is officially halfway through. You see the countdown on your scoreboard in the building. 15 links of the pool remaining. And a 32-5 on that last split. And Hannah Moore has her first lead of this 1500, 807-87 at the 750. Moore looks like she's still retaining the lead as we hit the 800 meter mark. Three tenths of a lead, in fact. Cobrish was an 847.18. She's only about two and a half seconds now behind Madeline Donahoe in lane number three. Not that two tenths of a second is extending a lead that much, but as close as this race has been so far, Hannah Moore now out to six tenths of a second. Two to three tenths more than her lead was at the 800 point. And this is your 900 meter mark. Moore's lead adds another two tenths of a second. 0.81 in the lead now.
might at the thousand meter mark this morning was 11 00 19. We we'll need to keep an eye on Madeline Donahoe. Donahoe third in this heat right now, third overall as well right now. About a three and a half second lead on the time posted by Kirsten Mites this afternoon. This turn will be 1,000 meters for these ladies. Two thirds of the way through, only 10 lengths of the pool remain, and it's a 1.2 second lead for Hannah Moore of Wolfpack Elite in lane number four. Donahoe at 10.56.88. Sitting just over three seconds ahead. Kirsten Mites posted time from this morning. North of a second and a half now for Hannah Moore. Crystal Cobrish peaking over the 33 mark on that 50 split. Four hundred meters remain for this top seated heat of fifteen hundred swimmers. Eleven fifty five oh one good for a two second lead right now over Cobra in lane five. Madeline Donahoe getting faster and faster thirty three twenty five. Crystal Cobra. Splitting a 32.71, closing the gap by about a half a second. Or excuse me, extending the gap by about a half a second on Madeline Donahoe. 32.88 for Kobrick that time, 32.73 for Hannah Moore. Three hundred meters to go, and we're closing in on crowning a champion. The question is, will Madeline Donahoe hold off the time of Kirsten Mites from earlier this afternoon? 13, 10, 6, 9, the lead that she has down to only three seconds. Slowly been closing. 13.32.70 for Hannah Moore and her lead north of three seconds on Kobrick in lane five. Still right at three seconds of a lead for Madeline Donahoe on the Kirsten Mites time from earlier. Big implications there. It's a third place finish on the line. Hannah Moore seemingly accelerating as she closes in on a finish 32 20 on that last 50. And look out. Only two seconds of a lead for Donahoe. On the time from Kirsten Mites, Mites 14.53.24 at the 13.50 mark. She was a 16.29.52. For the Americans to punch a ticket to Olympic trials, you have to be a 16.49.19 or faster.
There's the bell for Hannah Moore, meaning 100 meters to go. Kobrick also getting the bell. Fifteen twenty-five for Madeline Donahoe. She's only got eight tenths of a second separating her from Kirsten Mites in the prelims. We'll check in at the final turn. Hannah Moore still with a considerable lead, now up to six point two seconds over Crystal Kobrick. Madeline Donahoe flipping 15.58.03, the lead for her down to a half of a second for that third place spot. The 17 year old from the fish, your 1500 winner in lane number four, 16.13.72 for Hannah Moore. Kobrick is second, 16.20.96. Mites was a 16.29.52. We'll see where that ends up. That's going to be third place. Madeline Donahoe finishing with a 16.30.19. And here you go, those are your official results for the women's 1500 free